My name is Anthony Trufant. I'm the senior pastor of the Emmanuel Baptist Church. I have the privilege of serving this people for 20 years. I've been in ministry for 29 years. The fact of the matter is, my journey has been a good one, but it has not always been an easy one. And the truth be told, it was not the people, but rather I made the journey far more difficult. Uh, there were some things that I wish I knew uh, then that I now know, and I will share a couple of them with you. First and foremost, place a premium on cultivating an open, honest, dynamic relationship with Jesus Christ that will give you a sense of being grounded as well as will enable you to experience generativity. Secondly, invest in the stewardship of self. Uh, in your intellectual life, in your spiritual life, in your psycho-emotional life, and in your physical and relational life. Thirdly, make sure that you keep your family first, uh, that, uh, that your family must always feel as if they are not your, uh, that the church is not your primary um, audience, but rather that your family is your primary responsibility. Uh, after all, the uh, scriptures indicate that the quality qualification by elders suggests that he must manage his own household well. I take from that the ministry begins at home. So make sure that you are uh, placing an emphasis on cultivating a relationship with your spouse and with your children. Fourthly, develop some holy friends, persons uh, with whom you have a relationship that's characterized uh, by authenticity, uh, integrity, intimacy, and accountability. Fifthly, learn that while you are uh, the key leader, you're not the sole leader. And make sure that you uh, work with uh, and uh, empower and recognize the gifts that others bring to the table uh, that God uses to transform ministry. Fourthly, uh, be willing to take risk. Uh, make, you will make mistakes when you do so, but what I want to coach you to bear in mind is that while you'll make mistakes, don't make the same mistakes. Make new ones. Uh, those who never make mistakes are those who never do anything. They never go anywhere. They never grow. Uh, fifthly, I would say to you, make sure that whenever you propose something, do know that the first no is not necessarily the final no. Give people an opportunity uh, to weigh your words and discern for themselves whether or not God is at, at work. Remember that while you've been living with whatever vision it is for a while, the truth of the matter is what you share with them is new and they need to discern whether or not God is uh, at work in it. Um, six, learn that conflict rather than being an enemy of ministry actually can be an ally of developing ministry. Conflict, I've learned, is an invitation to revelation and transformation, that God can show you things in the midst of conflict about yourself, about others, that you otherwise would blow past, that ultimately can become an incredible blessing to you and to others. Seventh, make sure that you um, develop within your leadership arsenal different styles of coping with um, conflict. Sometimes you need to be concilia uh, conciliatory. Sometimes you need to be a, a consensus builder. Sometimes you need to be far more directive. Sometimes you need to be more diplomatic. Learn to assess the situation and find the appropriate style. Additionally, I would tell you, uh, make sure that you uh, enter ministry with an exit strategy that you begin your ministry with the end in mind, knowing that you will not be there forever, that you're there for a season, and while you're there, you need to be faithful and fruitful, but make sure that you set things up so that your predecessor, your successor, rather, um, does not have to deal with any unnecessary baggage that you leave behind. The last thing uh, I would say is make sure that you're clear about your own baggage, uh, because oftentimes what we bring to ministry will have a tendency to surface at times that are most inconvenient, but recognizing that when it does, if we have the degree of humility and honesty, and if we have a level of self-awareness, that what we discover about ourselves in the midst of those exchanges, God uses to help us to continue to grow in our relationship. 
I could share more, but I think that that's sufficient. God bless you. God keep you. Peace.